Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Ruby. So today, we are taking on Roxanne, and here we go, so it shouldn't be that difficult, just some rock types. So if you have Mudkip, or uh, if you pick Mudkip as your starter like I did, it's going to be super easy, but we'll see what happens so here comes nose pass so I'll just try to take this nose pass down this guy has super high defenses and some all right attack I guess so yeah with Harden it's going to get even more defensive so, let's use water gun here. And I'll do half. Very nice. We use rock tomb. That will lower our speed. It don't really do any damage though, thankfully. Gonna use tackle. And it looks like that's it. So, nose pass is gonna go down. Yeah, just watch out for its defense. That's where it really shines. So Echo gets up to level 12. Awesome. And Roxanne is defeated. So pretty easy. Nothing too difficult there. We get $1,500 for winning, and we got our first gym badge. Very nice. So yeah, if you picked Torchic, just evolve it into a Combuskin, get your fighting moves, and it should be pretty easy. But yeah. So, we get Rock Tomb, a pretty good TM. And let's get out of here. So yeah, pretty easy gym fight, so that's awesome. Okay, so as soon as you get out of the gym, you're going to see these... Team Magma gr running around, and I apparently took this guy's goods. So let's go heal up, and we'll get back to it. So let's just go in here. And heal up really quickly. Alright, so now that we're done with that, Let's go get him. Alright, so. Yeah, once you come up here. He'll ask you for your help. Yeah, he notices you from Petalburg Woods. We gotta get the Devon Goods back. So let's go do that. So we're back on this route, of course. Um, yeah, let's do this. And by the way, new Pokemon you catch on this route. You can catch stuff like. Skitty and um, stuff like that, Mankata and all that good stuff. Um, nothing really that good, but you can catch some if you want. Um, so yeah, let's go in here. Once you talk to this old man right here, he'll talk about his Pico. <laughs> So let's go save his Wingle. Alright, so. And every time, man. I swear the encounter rate in here is crazy. Every time I go in here, I fight a Wismer before I even step up to the Magma Grunt. So he's gonna back up and then we're gonna face him. I'm going to try to see if Wismer can beat this Poochie in by himself without me having to switch him out. So let's see what happens. He's decently leveled now. He's level 12. So let's use an Uproar. And Uproar will do over half. So there you go. So now one more Uproar. Poochie is going down. So Echo gets his first, or her first victory. So that's awesome. 
Alright, so, yep, his career in crime is over. Probably wasn't going to last long with a poochie in it, but whatever. Yeah, so, he just gives us the Devin Goods back. Just because we beat him, I guess. And here comes the old man to worship his Pico. And he's going to thank us, and he'll be going back to his cottage, and... Yeah, once we go back there, he'll be able to um, give us a ride to Duford, so that'll be cool. And, as usual, the encounter right here is crazy, like I was saying earlier. We'll just take out this Wismer. Oh, soundproof. Well, screw this, we're going to run away. <laughs> Forgot I had soundproof. Wow, I should probably remember the abilities of my own Pokemon, but whatever. Not a big deal. Alright, um, let's go over here. X special. You know, if you really want it, so there you go. Um, and yeah, we'll be able to get that. We'll be able to get up there once we get cut. And I will go get that real quick. I forgot to go do that, so... Once we get past this guy. So he'll give you a great ball as thanks. So he wants us to come with him. And we're going to go talk to the president of the Davin Corporation. So yeah. Alright, so, once you talk to him, he has a favor for us, and what he'll say is he'll want us to deliver a letter to Stephen in the Duford Cave. So yeah, we gotta go track down that guy, and go deliver the letter to him, and apparently he'll have a gift for us, and he'll end up giving us the experience share once we come back. So it's very worth doing. So yeah, um, let's just get out of here, see so yeah, that'll be next up on our object objective list right there, is to deliver that letter, and we will do that in a little bit, but first off, let's go get cut, I find it very funny that it's such like an optional house, you don't have to get cut at all in this game, but let's go do it. It won't hurt or anything, I guess. So yeah, you can easily just mess around and not even notice this guy's existence. And completely miss out on an HM. You do not see that very often in Pokemon games. Kind of wish they would do that more, because I don't like HMs at all. So yeah. Um, I don't know why I'm in here. I don't need to heal up. Um, and here's May right here. And yeah, she's just kind of standing there and talks about Pokemon she caught. In Emerald, she will battle you if you want to. But in this game, she just stands there and talks. So yeah. Um, next up on our list is go to Duford so if you use cut over here find a lady that will give you the miracle seed but and a couple of items as well but that's really the extent of that I don't like, feel like catching an HM slave just to do that so let's go to Mr. Briny's cottage here and let's get him so Come on, man. Ugh. So yeah, you have to catch this old man here. Alright, so now that we got him, let's go sail to Duford. Yeah, so 
That's what he's going to do for us. Alright, so. Here we go. So he'll just sail us past Route 105. And past Route 106 as well. And here we go, Duford Town. And yeah, so. First off, um, what you would want to do is just go straight to the Duford Cave and get Flash from the old man. And we'll start doing all that next episode. So, see you guys on the next episode of Pokemon Ruby. Thank you for watching.